here in Davos we see that uh, digital economy is the first subject out of eight to be discussed. Do you think that it's really going mainstream now? Well, when we look at people, you know, in the street that start, you know, like to look at their mobile to check, you know, like the Bitcoin price, I think like indeed the digital economy and as well the crypto world is showing that this is entering, you know, like the main street. Uh, uh, as well, when we look at traditional media and most of their headlines is about, you know, like the ups and downs of uh, Ethereum, Ripple and uh, VTC. Well, it shows as well that something is changing. So yes, I think we are at the beginning of a new era. And now the question is how this moment, this innovations is going, you know, like to serve populations and humanity as a well. I think that it's not your first time in Davos. Do you think that this year it's different because of so many what we are now here in front of crypto headquarter? Well, I think what is interesting is uh, uh, innovation is not related to one place. Innovation is about, you know, people's art people's vision and what is certain is something is moving and uh, when we see you know like people like myself you know from a banking industry moving around on becoming a social entrepreneur and we see so many examples like that of people really that at some point reach a point of consciousness and say I want to do something good I want to do something which is meaningful so yes I think we are going to see a spread of innovation here in Davos but as well in all parts of the world. Uh, what do you think about regulations and being also a person from the banking sector? What is for you more important? Well, I think, you know, when there is a disruptive innovation at first, we need to let it grow in a way which is not too controlled. Because what we want is we want to grasp the positive impact it can bring. But at the same time, we have, you know, like on the crypto community, be able, you know, to self-regulate ourselves to make sure that this is going you know, to follow a serious path, something which is going you know, to be with fiduciary responsibility with the people that entrust their funds, their investments, and become you know, like members of the community. So I think you know, we cannot prevent regulation to look at that because that market right now represents you know, like a 300 to 400 billion dollar market. So this is indeed now visible in the radar. And probably this is going to continue to increase. But what we have to do is we have to set examples, set good practices, make sure that speculation is not overwhelming the goodwilling associated, you know, with the crypto. And that's how, you know, like myself, for instance, with my group, we're going to launch uh, over the next few weeks a pre-sale of OU token, which is going, you know, to be the first cryptocurrency, you know, for social and economic inclusion. I, I like to see this energy in your eyes because, well, you really like this and I see that you see the potential and perspective and uh, promising uh, technologies in blockchain. As not a stranger to JP Morgan, I can't not ask you about the opinions of uh, Mr. Dimon being said and that have influenced so much uh, the crypto market. Could you please comment on this? Because do you think that he understands what it is Bitcoin really? Well, you know, I think right now as we speak, most of the, of the people don't really understand what is really, you know, like the potential and the vision associated to it. So even people that can pretend themselves as pundit into the blockchain, we are just at the beginning of the understanding of the possibilities. So that's, that's one of the aspects. The second aspect is, we are in a world of sensationalism. So sometimes one sentence, you know, like put out of the context, you know, is leverage and make, you know, like a very strong statement. Well, at some point it's just like maybe something like, if you don't like, you know, classical music, you might just say, well, I don't know what it is about. I might, you know, like show a more curious aspect. Now, what I would say is we have, you know, to be open-minded. When we make, you know, like a tag on condemning without understanding fully the full potential of something which is, you know, like related to innovation, I think we are, you know, like making a shortcut. And I think that now this new world and new market and new innovations really can prove in so many ways that they are bringing something positive for humanity as a world. So my responsibility as an entrepreneur is to make sure that we can strive to support that blockchain is bringing something positive for the people. And if we can prove that, Jamie Dimon and all the other CEOs of the banking industry of that old new world will probably better understand 
that actually they can even benefit from it. And that is good even for their banking industry. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's really a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.